wish I had a different story to tell, but I don't. understand that right now, this, this period in time, things need to happen and we need to utilize this period. My goal for the convention would be to throw Molotov cocktails at Madison Square Garden to the point where the Republicans run and flee back to stupid fucking Alabama. You can live your whole life, but you gotta fucking leave and go do a bunch of stuff a whole lot of other places <laughs> and then come back to Minneapolis and settle down. When my brother was 19 years old, he jumped over this bridge. I hate cops. But anger, always intense rage. At the time, it was directed right at the police, because I was just like, how the fuck, why are you arresting this person who's trying to save my life and other people's lives? There's nothing wrong in what she's doing. But actually being homeless fucking it's the worst thing ever. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. She had issues when my father left me, and I don't know, I've, I've just had this kind of numb, neutral feeling about it for so long. I mean, I really, honestly, never really think about it that much. The heroin, that's really bad. Never will ever, ever, ever fucking ever touch heroin in my life. I've lost so many people to that drug. I mean, what it did to my brother's father was just, Horrendous. What have you lost? Yeah. Um, everything. Guillermo was picked up. He's violently ill. So I'm a human being. That's all I can really fuck about. We got 70 new families. Yeah, we're going to set up a tent. Um, yes, I have a very long history in the sex industry. That came to an end in my life when I became um, too well known in the Philadelphia area. Who's in charge of watching him? Come on in. someone who isn't afraid to just put it all on the fucking line. It's, it's pretty incredible. My mom was, you know, she's an outspoken activist. We want to meet with somebody because it's an emergency and it's a crisis. Well, who else in the office can we meet with? No! I'm not, what I'm asking for is not unreasonable and don't tell me to calm down. That is not possible today. I'm sorry. We spent $700 to come up in a bus and we want to talk to somebody, anybody today within that building because we are decent human beings and we get to have the dignity of having at least somebody, the, the janitor, the plumber, the whoever, to come and address this small group of people at a table. That's what we deserve. My mom was, you know, the queen, is the queen of making people do what they don't want to do. 
but they but she knows that they really need to do it 